Hi everybody, so I'm back with uh, another video, um, more testimony, so I'd like to thank my sister Tara, uh, she's not my real sister, but because of God, because of our Jesus, she's my sister through blood, um, through the blood of Jesus, she sewed into me, and that allowed me to stay in a hotel, not a fancy hotel. I got to stay in a Motel 6, but the motel that I stayed at had um, what they call a suite, and it was bigger than their normal rooms. It's bigger even than their deluxe rooms. And I got to stay there one, one night, and then God, <laughs> he says, okay, this night's on me, <laughs> tomorrow's on you. Like, huh? So. I stayed in a hotel Friday, Saturday, uh, no, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday I rented a, an Airbnb with my paycheck. Now, this is the last two times he's had me do this. I rented an Airbnb the time before and I stayed for two weeks. This time around, I'm only sticking around for a few days. Um, in fact, the middle of next week is going to be my my exit but when I came in and you can see the mirror behind me is silver I saw a lot of silver and a lot of white um, there's actually white lilacs they're not real they're fake but they're decorative flowers and but there's a lot of silver and a lot of white and the tone of the of the um, paint on the walls is a baby blue and I'm looking around and I'm like, so my master bedroom has a king size bed. I haven't slept in a king size bed um, since I got divorced. Um, the bed that we had was a California king, a really big bed. He was a tall man. Um, but when I was talking to father about the things that I need and the things that I would like to have, I asked him for a separate bed for my puppy because he has been going through some serious warfare and he hasn't given up. He's still a trooper. Um, he hasn't gotten bitter or angry like some people will get when, when they've gone through some tough stuff. You know, he goes into sleeping in the car and, you know, being in my car with me just as much as, you know, he struggles just as much as I'm struggling. And um, so I'm looking around and I woke up yesterday and I'm looking at the room and I'm looking and I'm like, Father, why does this feel like bridal-ish? And he's like, because it's your bridal space. I'm like, huh? It reminded me of the space where the bride gets ready. You know, the, the room that, that she has in order to put on her dress and get her makeup done and get her hair done. And it, this is what this space reminds me of. I've seen pictures of women who have rooms like this where they go to a hotel room and they get um, showered with attention and they get fussed over and I've seen videos of weddings and that happens too and, and this is what this reminds me of and I'm just looking around and I'm looking around and I'm looking around and I'm like, I'm in awe, I'm in awe. And I'll show you. I'm in a condo. Even the apartment that I lived in by myself, when I made a considerable amount of money and I could take care of myself, wasn't this luxurious? Wasn't this 
large. And it's in a part of town that is expensive. It's not cheap. And God has me here. He has me working because that's my path. Um, but the work that I do is serving others. And if you remember a few videos back, I said that um, I'm going in reverse. And I've been going through things, things that I went through when I was younger, when I first got into trouble, because I was not listening to God. I was not walking with God yet. I still made a lot of decisions on my own. And... Um, now I am completely submitted to what God's plans are for me. And if I sound a little hoarse, that's because um, it's been cold and I kept the, the condo colder um, because I like sleeping when it's cold. But sometimes it gets warm, so I take off my covers and now I'm exposing myself to the cooler breeze. Um, but it'll go away in a couple days and I'll be fine. I'm not sick or anything. It's just my voice sounds hoarse. <sighs> and I've been going through some of the similar, like the, how can I put, put explain it? Like I've been going through similar situations, experiencing the same things that I experienced back then. But the difference is now I see. I see the errors of my ways. I see where I got conned by the world. And I was, I allowed myself to be attracted to the things that were not of God. And this time around, I'm standing my ground on Father's, on Father's words. I'm standing my ground on the promises he has given me. So the people around me are like, she should have already been gone. We should have been able to get rid of her. I don't understand why is she still here. You can't move what God won't allow you to move. You can't push out what God won't allow you to push out. I'm saying things straight up and truthfulness. You can't go against the truth and God will not allow you to push and manipulate his children when they stand on his word. He's using me to show you, and I don't understand why this light keeps going bright and then turning down and then going bright and then turning down. It kind of distracts me a little bit. <laughs> But I do recognize it's Father that's doing it. But I've noticed that when I don't dim myself, when I stand strong and I stand tall for the righteousness that God has put inside of me, that is when those of me, those that are around me who have spirits over them can't go against me. And they are baffled. In fact, I experienced this last week um, where several of the girls went home complaining of stomach pain. Now, in my, in my heart, I, was, I knew. I'm like, that's not stomach pain. Those aren't cramps from menstruation. That's God. God is talking to you and telling you that what you're doing is wrong and he wants you to stop. And because you continue putting your finger, your mouth, your anger towards me, you're feeling his wrath. Because I could feel the heat, and I was like, oh, man, it's hot now. <laughs> and the more I felt hot, the more pain they felt. So I knew, I knew what was happening to them. And I would just pray. I'm like, soften your heart. I pray that you soften your heart, that you bow down to Father and you allow him to cleanse the spirits that are in you that are not of him. And this is not gonna be a very long video because 
I don't have anything. And but Father has been bringing the scripture, the woman with the with the with the blood issue. And I have to tell you, this is this is what was happening to them. This is his way of telling me that their blood issue is him coming at them. You know, I was beginning, I have begun to see his hand moving in my life. Now, my stay here ends several days before I get paid again. And I don't know where I'm going. (laughs) I don't know where I'm going. But I know it's going to be fantastic because... God hasn't been letting me go back to the way things were before because I've passed all my tests. I've passed all my trials and tribulations. So now everything, the the thing that comes after is always better than the thing I left. This place is 10 times better than the RV that I was staying in. It was a humble RV and it was beautiful and it was bright and it was clean and I kept it clean and now I'm I'm in a whole space all by myself with two bedrooms and I'm looking around and I have a full refrigerator and I have a, a stove and it's gas just the way I want it and it, it's a huge apartment just for me just for me huge condo in an area of town that I've that I've wanted to live in since I can't since I left it I used to live just down the street from here I can tell you I was paying fourteen hundred dollars a month for a two-bedroom and I'm back in the same space same area I'm back in the I'm, a, I'm right across the way from the pool. <laughs> I'm on the first floor. <laughs> I'm in the seventh unit, the seventh apartment on the first floor. <laughs> Look at the number how you want to. 717 one seven 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 one. <laughs> the numbers for me end up being addresses. End up being locations. The last place I stayed in, it was off of Juniper. <laughs> I'm sure it, and I'm right around the corner from that place. So I know the street Juniper is right next door. And that is where Elijah went to hide under the juniper when Jezebel was trying to kill him. All of our lives have meaning. Somehow, some way, our lives mirror the Bible. The Bible is our road map. It's our map to show us what happened before it will happen again the circumstances may be a little different the players may be under different names but the stories are the same it's funny because father told me when Tara sewed into me and he goes oh look a trickle. I'm like, a trickle? And he goes, what happens when it starts to rain? Before the rain comes? I'm like, it sprinkles? He goes, yeah. It's random, right? I said, yes. And what happens when the rain really comes? Uh, the flow is strong and it overpowers everything? And he said, yes. This is just a trickle.
wait for the flow. It's coming. Wait for the flow. It's coming. <laughs> the apartment, or the RV, the condo, the gift, it's all the trickle. It's random. It's here and there. All of a sudden, God is going to open the floodgates. And it's going to be pouring. Are you ready? Are you ready to catch it? Are you ready like Elijah to be running down the street with your bales of water to hold whatever God flows out of heaven? Are you really ready? Have you been checking? Have you been looking at the sky to see what God has for you? In the name of my Lord Jesus, I pray that you seek him in this hour. For the flow is coming. The flow is coming. Amen. <laughs>